With the resources the home team has, the home team has reorganised ourselves for greater efficiency and effectiveness. For example, the police set up the Anti-Scam Command in March 2022 to consolidate and optimise resources and expertise in scams across all their units. The police also partners stakeholders from the public and private sectors in our fight against scams to complement and supplement our own capabilities. They worked with the Monetary Authority of Singapore and the Association of Banks in Singapore to co-locate staff from six major banks at the Anti-Scam Command. Staff from the Government Technology Agency are also co-located at the Anti-Scam Command to support police investigations in SingPass-related scams. This has enhanced the police capabilities to more expeditiously spot stop more people from falling, falling prey to ongoing scams and freeze bank accounts before the scammed monies flow out of Singapore. The MAS also works closely with the Standing Committee on Fraud of the Association Banks of Singapore to drive anti-scam efforts in the financial industry. This includes implementing robust measures to safeguard customers, such as putting in place an emergency kill switch for customers to swiftly freeze their bank accounts, which they suspect may have been compromised. The police have leveraged technology to enhance our ability to deal with scams and facilitate quicker decision-making. For instance, they use analytics to detect and block scam websites. This includes tools that look out for telltale characteristics of scam websites. As scammers are mostly based overseas, our efforts to solve scam cases depend significantly on the cooperation from foreign law enforcement agencies. We are keen to enhance cooperation, but this will depend on their, capa on their capacity and receptivity.